Hey designers, when you publish a project in Storyline, it automatically publishes with a menu, with a resources button that probably doesn't do anything if you didn't add any resources, as well as a volume icon, whether or not there is volume, and the controls down here below. I mean, yeah, you can open and close the menu, which is nice, but you may not want your learner to have that level of control. You may not want to be bothered to change your slide titles over here. All of this can be customized and you can turn off the menu and the resources very, very quickly. Let me show you how. Let's close my preview here. All, everything that you need is up here in player. Okay, so I'm on the home tab, click player. It'll bring up a little, tiny image of what your project looks like and everything you need is over here okay so now you can choose bit by bit what to keep and what to get rid of or you can go nuclear and you see menus and controls right here you can actually just choose off boom the interface is gone so if you don't want the menu if you have your own custom on-screen navigation and you're sure it's perfectly well done. You can just turn everything off altogether and all that will appear is your slide. No menu, no resources, no nothing. That may not be the choice for you, but you can still add in a lot of customization. Right here, you can uncheck menu. You can scroll down this little pane here, uncheck resources. See, now our menu and our resources are gone. If you don't like having the title of your product up here, you can uncheck that. Um, if you do want the sidebar, you can choose where you want it. You can add a logo, cover photos. You can also uh, have full control over the player controls down here. So there's no audio in your project, uncheck that. If there's no audio, then you probably don't need captions. You can uncheck that. Um, I would leave accessibility controls, but there's some things here you can add as well. You can add the option to make your project full screen, which is pretty nice. And you can also add the option to have a seek bar and then choose how that seek bar behaves. I really like a seek bar if a project has a lot of media or a lot of audio and you want the learner to know how much longer there is in a slide because sometimes it's not clear how much longer there is in a slide or if the audio has already concluded. So the seek bar is a nice visual way to do that. And you can choose whether or not the user can click around on the seek bar to rewind or fast forward, or you can choose to have it read only, which means they can look at it, but they can't adjust it. So that's it for the basic customizations. You can go further. You can pop up here to colors and effects, and there's actually two other themes programmed in already into Storyline for your player. You can have a light player, which makes it white around it. You can have a custom player, which makes it dark blue around it. You can say, hey, I don't like this color. Check on, uh, check on the background color here. And you can make it a purple player. Pretty cool, right? So if your institution, for example, might have some branding guidelines, you can get really deep into customizing the color of this. And again, you can go, always go back and add a logo as well on the player. I don't have one loaded here, but you can load in a logo and have that on your player as well. So fully customizable. You might've noticed you can also change the fonts here that are built into the player as well, as well as the um, icon or icon and text for these things down below in the player. See how this changed? They were just icon. You can add text to them instead. Pretty cool. So you can fully customize your player. It's really quick and easy to remove that default menu, remove those default resources if you aren't using them. Quick and easy. I hope this has helped you out and I would love to hear how you've customized your own player.